In order to bill your customers, you're first going to have to set up services, and we do that under Items and Services. Now, with your services, whether they're one-time or recurring, there's uh, at least a certain number of fields in the templates that are similar across all of the different options. So let's start with one-time charges. These are charges that you'll create where you'll go to the customer's account and apply it manually. Examples are labor charges, install fees, routers, other hardware, and so on. And so the basic fields here are the service name, which is what you will want to show up on the invoice, the ISP description, which is not viewable by the customer, the cost of the service, and then tax override and tax types. Now, tax override is basically your option to say, I don't care what my taxes say, I just want to charge this percent. And you would put that percentage into the field. Tax types is where you can choose your predefined taxes um, and associate them to this service. And the tax configuration is covered in a different video. Now, subaccount class is basically a subcategory that applies directly to the account class report. And it's just adding another layer of organization to your reporting. And the account class report will be covered in a different video as well. Now, a one-time charge is one of our options here, but of course, there's also the option for a one-time credit. And the same is to be said for monthly charges and credits. Now, the monthly template, as you can see, is exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is that when you add it to account, it's going to bill once per month on the billing day rather than being manually applied. Now if we want to get a little more complicated we can go to the self-expiring charges and discounts which are basically monthly services with a time parameter which means if we want to do like a payment plan or we want to give a sign-on promo or something of the like we can basically say here is your monthly discount and I want it to apply to this account X number of times. And since there's a total value to be considered here, let's say maybe it's $100 or $10 a month or whatnot, um, there is no proration with these. So it'll apply in full every time. Once the total number of repetitions has been completed, the service will actually be removed from the account and there will be logs in the customer event log to show that. Now we get to the real good stuff, which is the monthly internet plans. And obviously we're stepping it up a notch with the uh, fields here, but you can see that the first uh, five or six fields are exactly the same as the other templates. And then we get this new field that's tax exemption amount. Um, and this is just to let you say that you don't want the first, say $25, to be taxed on this type of service. Contract templates allow you to set up a contract to be queued onto an account as a result of adding the service to that account. And this particular feature only triggers when the customer is first activated. So if you have one service that's say a five meg plan with a two-year contract, and then you have a 10 meg plan with a two-year contract, you don't need to worry that when you switch them from plan one to plan two, that a contract will get added as a result. It's just a one-time thing. Beyond that, we need to configure how PowerCode understands this service plan and knows how to interact with it accordingly. So we have our upload and download speeds. These will be used by either the BMU or the Procera to do basic rate limiting. And then we have a burst mode, which is more directed towards our BMU. And the burst mode has two options, which is sustained and bucket. Sustain basically says if your network can handle it and the interface isn't being maxed out on the BMU, sure, give them this extra bandwidth. While bucket mode is basically a here's a higher level of service that they can uh, sustain for a certain period of time, they use it up, the bucket empties, the bucket refills, and they get bursts of extra speed. Monthly megabytes is one of those fields that if you need it is great and if you don't need it it really doesn't matter what you put in there. It's only going to be important if it's being called by a feature within the system. If you're not using overages or you're not throttling after a certain amount of usage or, uh, or whatnot, then you don't really need to worry about what's in this field. If you do however, then this is where you're going to say this 5x1 plan has 
100 gigabytes of data allocated to it. After that, I want them to get throttled down to new speeds. Or maybe I want to keep it simple and I want to charge them for a one-time overage fee just because they exceeded that block, period. Um, the other part of the monthly internet services would be overage plans, which will be covered in a different video altogether. The last block here is the third party configuration, and this is specifically for the Cambium 450s as well as the Procera shaping rolls. And really, these fields are specifically set up for the Cambium equipment um, so that the Cambium speed updater can write these values to the customer's CPE. Now, the Procera Networks box here, the shaping rules, if you are interested in Procera, you have a Procera, you know that you can create shaping rules uh, within that system, and you can actually create them directly out of power code. And once they're created, you can apply them to services here. Now, as far as Procera and shaping rules and how those are created and applied, that'll be covered in a different video. And then, if you want to have the uh, internet service limited by group, Maybe you want to do like commercial internet and residential internet or regional, uh, what have you. Then you can actually set up your customer groups and then you can um, limit the service plan to those groups in this field. There are a few other templates that we didn't go through in this video, such as overages, referral discounts, and wipe services. And to learn more about those, check out some of our other videos.